I'm the first born. Katika ikijiji tukuna shida sababu hakuna hospital. Shule daraza ntano hajaisha mpaka daraza ya 7 ya 8. Wanafunzi wakifika daraza la 5 wanaishia masomo hapo sababu hakuna daraza zingine wanazoendelea na masomo yao. Hii kijiji tu tukuna shida. Hata maji ni shida, maji ya kunywa, wote wanatumia maji ya mto kukunywa, kufulia nguo. Unakuta watu wanafulia nguo kwa ndani, na maji ndio tunywa na watu wakiona. Na kukunywa. Kwa hizi nyumba tunaishi ni za makaratasi. Nyingine tu tunaweka ma cotton. Kwa mfua, maji ne, maji inaingia ndani sababu makaratasi kama imechomeka na jua inahacho na, na mashimo kukinyesha inakuwa shida. Zina ni Elizabeth Kanini Mtisia. Nimezaliwa ndani ya kikizidi cha Kasoito. Kwa maana yake tuna tuna nearby factories ambayo ina produce dust. Hiyo dust inaanguka inaangukia mto. At the same time hiyo maji ndo tunatumia kunywa, kufua, kuosha na pia kwa, maybe tu ukipanda plant hiyo dust ikiangukia hiyo planda ita survive ina ina affect what ikiwa ina stage ikiwa kidogo sana huwa ni shida sana kwa sababu hakuna daraja iko karibu ambapo watu wanaweza jisaidia iko mbali sana kwa hivyo inabidi tu mtu tu aji force aende kwa hiyo daraja akapite huko kwa sababu at the nearby path hakuna daraja ni mawe tu kwa hiyo mtu anawezi cross wakati maji inapita kwa sababu it, it can also stay for about three weeks kukiwa na maji unapata watu wako kwa shida kama una chakula it's for your own Daniel Mkeku ya na kapa jua kadi kwanza magonjwa haya pili shida chocho ni ya kulipa kauna five kauna shilingi tano uwezi enda pacho sasa hii kave nimefungwa inabidi twende kwa mtaro mwingine pale kufanya haja zetu huko uh, people in this area do not have good jobs because their academic level is quite down reason being the parents in this area are not able to afford quality and good education for their children. Every problem has a solution. When vocational colleges are open and the pupils are taken there, they can be able to acquire some vocational skills to better their future living.
hivi tunamwombea akae kwa maisha marefu sana. Hiyo ni jambo watatu kwa tunatarajia ni kama dream come. Ila nataka kusema kwa mama wetu ama kushukuru kwa kutupea masomo ya bure pia ameleta chini kubwa sana kwa kwa kijiji yetu. Ningependa kumlisha shukrani kwa wale wote ambao wanisaidia mzee wangu ambaye ndio mwanangu huyu. Nimefurahi sana kwa sababu tumepata shida muda mrefu. Tuwezo ambia through the effort of ama. Once mtu akiwa na uwezo wa kusaidia ajitolea saidie. Yeah. Na imefanya wamama hata wale walikuwa na poteza wakati mwingi labda wakienda kutafuta maji wakati huu wanaweza kukaa manyumbani na kufanya kazi zingine na kulea watoto Kukunja promisi taxi driver ni kombole shegari Jamu yangu ni kwa na niya vine nimepata certificate sasa kwa hii ya mrita senda nipate kazi ni saidie kama watoto wale orphans wako hapa pia ni saidie my family niende amrita nikaomone ama aliniaidi acha nisomesha na mimi sitaki kuvunja promise ladies and gentlemen in front of you is Elizabeth Kanini ready to recite a poem entitled Education. Education, education is the key, but where is the key? Ama, but who is Ama? Our caretaker. Just mention a few. With the education, we can fly and fly up the mountain, down the valley, and across plains. Education, education broadens our mind. Our mind? Yes, it widens our understanding. Education. Education brightens our future. Our future? Yes, and the surrounding of our environment. Education. Education ensures that you are confident. Education. Education from who? Hama. 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 Give me education. Thank you.